So what we're going to head after right now is make sure that we set up our Office 365 trial. Before we set up our trial though, I want to take a moment and talk about enterprise plans. Now there's a couple different plans that are available. We're going to look at three of the enterprise ones right now. The first one we're going to look at is the Office 365 Enterprise E1. Now this gives you online versions of Office with email and it also gives you video conferencing. We also have the E3 plan which has all the features of E1 but also has some compliance tools. It's got information protection and it's got voicemail for us as well. And last but not least the E5 which has all the features of everything else plus it has a whole UC solution set behind it. So what we're going to do as we go forward is we're going to actually be creating a trial under E5 just to make sure we have absolutely everything. That doesn't mean that we're going to have to turn around to our company or the individuals we work for and go hey we should be E5. Well you need to actually look over them to see what each one of them has that you need. And to do that I would suggest actually going out and do going to this link right here. It'll allow you to compare more Office 365 for business plans. Now what about our requirements? Well for requirements to create a tenant, we've got two of them. They're really straightforward. The first one is we're going to need that email address. And it's basically an email account that we're going to use for our trial. It's not part of Microsoft's, it has to be part of our own. And it could, like I said, it could be at Outlook.com that you've got one. It could be on premise that you have one. It doesn't matter as long as we have one to set up our trial with. The second thing we're going to need is a phone. We're actually going to have to have our cell phone so that we can receive SMS messages. Now it's going to be used for MFA multi-factor authentication afterwards as well, but we need it to actually get the code so we can turn around and authenticate ourselves and get our domain up and running. Basically, we're proving we're not a robot. Okay, so we know what we have to do here. It's going to be a very short one. What we're going to do right now is jump into the demo and we're going to go over a couple things. We're going to browse over to the Office 365 plans just so you can see them. We're going to turn around and select Office 365 Enterprise E5 plan because that's what we're going to start our free trial with. And then we're going to begin setting up the tenant. Now we're going to go through only part way. We're going to stop when it starts asking us about DNS records and tenant names and region. And we're going to talk about each of those pieces. So we're not just going to run right all the way through it in one shot. We're just going to begin setting it up. So let's jump in and just get that first piece knocked out. Okay, so we're here on products.office.com. We're going to shoot over to products and we're going to jump over to enterprise under for business. Let's click on that. Give that just a moment to load there. And then you're going to notice here we've got our compare plans and pricing. Let's click on that. Now we've got all the wonderful enterprise plans from E1, E3, and E5, just like we talked about. And if you actually look through this whole thing, it'll tell you what's part of every single one of them. So that'll help you figure out which plan you actually want. As you can see, E5 has everything. So let's get all the way to the bottom here. We're going to go over to E5 and we're going to click on free trial. So let's click on that. And we're going to stop here for one second. You notice here it just says Canada. Well, look here. We use your regional information to deliver the right services. This is our tenant region. This is extremely important for us. It deals with a lot of different things. I know it looks like a quick little drop down. But at the end of the day, it's extremely important that we make sure we set this exactly right. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to stop here for a moment and we're going to go over and we're going to talk about the tenant region before we continue.